I'm really excited today because ClickUp added a new feature that is just amazing and it's something that I mentioned in a previous video where I talked about, checked out the ClickUp Brain AI. A new feature that lets you ask your knowledge base inside ClickUp anything. And if you follow us at the Payless Movement, then you know that we are using ClickUp for both, for business project management and business knowledge management. So if you want to know what tools we use on our website, you have the section our tools and there's our iCore framework describing a productivity system end to end between personal and business. And there you see ClickUp is on the intersection of business project management and business knowledge management. A long time ago, we've been using ClickUp and Notion in combination, and therefore we used ClickUp for project management and Notion for knowledge management. The issue there is the disconnection between information and action. So therefore, we force the things to have everything in ClickUp, even though back then it was not as good when it comes to documentation and things and linking things together like Notion was, but today it really pays out that we force the things into ClickUp because with the introduction of the ClickUp Brain AI, it was already awesome that we are able now to ask our knowledge base inside ClickUp about anything and create immediately actions out of this. So here very quickly, if I hit option K, it, it will bring up ClickUp Brain and now I can ask anything about my knowledge base. And once I do this, I can create tasks out of this and things like that. However, back then I already said, maybe it would be great if we are able to tag certain content inside ClickUp to help AI to better understand what to focus on. Because there are so many different tasks and notes and comments going on that might not be relevant to the actual question that I'm asking. And that's exactly what they added now. And that's exactly what we will dive into in this video and check out how good this works, how well it's implemented. So let's dive in. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. All right, now let's go to the doc sections. That's the doc hub. And in here, you see already a new part, which is the create first wiki. So you can use now the wikis to organize information. So you have quick access here and prioritize as results when you ask AI. So this on its own is in fact just a easier way to access your documentation. So you have it down here already and we have it here on the side, there's our documentation. But the amazing thing is now I can go to my existing documentation, go here, for example, to the SOP video editing. So the work instructions, in fact, go to the three dots, and here I have now mark doc as wiki. And again, it verifies this doc as a wiki which prioritizes AI answers and promotes visibility on docs hub. So let's do this. And by doing this, you now get the verification sign here. You see it here and you see it here on the sidebar that this is a verified wiki. Now it's really worth keeping your documentation up to date because now you can really leverage this information. And the thing you have to keep in mind, you cannot yet make individual sub pages uh, a wiki only. So only the whole doc becomes a wiki. Okay, so let's go back to docs and there it appears. Now we have the work instructions here. And now when I ask a question about how we, for example, what video types do we produce? and the paperless movement. I would expect now it will go into the work instructions and find the SOP about video editing and will list me now all the details about these videos. And there we go. Isn't this amazing? This is exactly what we have in our work instructions. And here you go, SOP video editing. It doesn't show you the verification sign here, but it is part of the work instructions. So go here video editing, let's bring this over, move down, and there we go. Video types, uh, reviews, tutorials, boom, reaction videos, boom, podcasts, boom, clips, everything appeared, and it even extracted the key takeaways out of all these bullet points that we have in here. So this is already amazing. So now let's see what happens if we also verify our business documentation. Make this, so you also can go here to the three dots, and mark it here as a wiki. And now we included our business documentation here as well. And now let's ask a question about who are the founders. There we go. It found it and it 
looked into the business details. We can even click here, it will jump to this place. Now it shows the verified sign here. You see business name, Tom Solid and uh, Paco Cantero. And there we go. It also looks still into other sources, which is great for context, but I probably think it will weigh in more what it will find in this. Again, now it's really worth keeping things up to date. Um, I could keep now asking, um, what is our VAT ID? Let's see. And keep in mind, if you have a big team and they struggle to find the information, this is now really easy for them to ask the relevant questions and not only get an answer, but they can verify the answer by then clicking to the sources and go to this place. So here are no longer sources shown. This would show up if I would go to the front end and start from scratch, but um, it showed already the business details so they were, would be able to verify this. Let's do one more. What are our brand colors? As this is also in our brand identity doc inside the business documentation. I would expect that this is now getting this as well. Great, it's picking up the right colors and even additional colors that we used. And boom, there we go, brand identity document. It shows that it is a verified source. So again, if somebody inside your company is using this, they can trust more on these sources, right? So you you know when you click there, now you get all the information uh, and can get more information. And if you go back, you could now here see it's context uh, aware, so that I'm already in a brand identity document. I can hit tab, and now I can ask specific questions about this document and ask this way further. Further, so I think that this is really a revolutionary update inside ClickUp. It's going the right direction. I would love now if the next thing about content awareness would be the custom task types. So if we are going to work streams and podcasts, for example, here we have these custom task types, which is a podcast. Or for videos, we have here the video uh, icons, cast and podcast, custom task types. So if I would ask now, what was the URL of the last video we've published on YouTube? I would expect now to get the last video, but this is, I think, not working yet properly as it's not aware of using the custom task type video and the due date of this video in order to understand when this was published. So as you can see, it's not recognizing the things. And that's a shame. I tested it once before and there it worked, but it didn't pick up the latest video. It just picked up a random video. All right, what do you think about this new feature? Will you actually use it? Do you actually use AI inside ClickUp? Let us know in the comments below. If you as a busy professional want to master your project management skills, join us in our project management like a pro course. It's a step into an exciting journey of not only building a highly effective project management system, but also crafting a comprehensive productivity system from start to finish and regardless of the tools you use. You'll transform how you organize your tasks and knowledge like never before. And if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe so we can catch you up next time. Everybody's talking about